start that off. Normally, people who send in these maps, because these are suggestions from people that ask me to play these custom games so they can be featured on the channel, either youtube.com slash Warcraft or just basically played on the stream. Oh, it's gone all spooky. This actually says there what the goals are, but it loaded so quickly. I guess we're going to play this one by ear because it loaded well fast. We've got a little bit of a cinematic by the looks of it. Sergeant Henry wants to protect someone. So this is a survival slash horror. Humans have to cut down into a dense forest to run from the things who will spawn after a set amount of time to hunt the humans down. Things can't cut trees at first, but humans can. Humans can build various traps and walls to delay their deaths. Advice. Forts that may help me to demonstrate the maps better. Okay, humans can fit into one gap areas, but things can't use that. So use that to your advantage. As humans, you can't see your allies' vision, so you have to be very careful not to make the unwanted path in someone else's base. Speaking of which, let's just find somewhere and run. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Apart from possibly TK. That might be the one first thing to... Oh, you can't. You can't attack your ally or yourself. That's a shame. Always nice when you can do that. The humans already have a lot of tools to survive. So a medium-sized map will probably be a good starting size if you want it to be balanced. Just be careful later on as things can break trees with a high cooldown. Yes, so you've got to break trees, basically, as a human. Yes, so you attack the trees to make your pathway. I think this is the one gap path he might be talking about. Although it's fairly large. We've got some spooky music. So you don't really want to cut too big a path for your enemies to find you. Once I've done cutting a bunch of trees, I'm going to start looking into sort of like um, abilities. I'm doing the whole shift Q thing to try to give myself as much speed advantage as possible. Get a decent distance away, I'd say. Yeah, considering I do 50,000 odd damage, or maybe 500,000 damage, it might be a good idea just to turn back on the thing and kill the things. Don't want to make it super obvious where I'm going. Can actually trick him a little bit by making more of a path up here. I'm actually going down here. I assume I've got to make a base at some point. I've got 120 gold and I'm one food. It's hard to destroy the trees whilst trying to work out what I can build. I've got repair, invincible shield for 15 seconds, and I can stealth myself for 30 seconds. Otherwise I can build a whole bunch of stuff. I assume you want to build things that will help you increase your income. This is the perfect pathway, by the way. Okay, that looks like the edge. I'm actually just going to build that first so I've got some vision of when I'm going to get ganked. Our allies' town is under siege. A very weak blockade. May as well start building something. You've got the one gap. So remember the game told you you got the one gap. So you need to work it out like this. So that's a one gap that is right there. And they can't destroy trees for all I know. So it should be okay. There's the gold mine. So that's what we're looking for. And I can't see my allies, so 
I have no idea where my allies went. Where they are. They could actually trash my uh, base, for all I know. And open it up. See if we can upgrade the gold mine. Oh yeah, you can upgrade it, but it costs a lot of gold, so you might as well just spam a whole bunch of them. Oh. Because I cancelled it straight away, it's got a bit... Got a bit funky. I can't finish it off. That is what she said. Okay. And now my OCD is going to be triggered because there's this gap that's been left there. So we're going to just mass a bunch of these freaking gold mines to try to survive. With these crappy barricades. A peasant has died. It's a little disturbing. Oh, you got something that can do a lot of damage as they attack. This allies town is under siege. I can't go there. That's it. I'm dead. All right. Job done. It costs a lot of gold. Off I go then to upgrade pretty much anything by the looks of it. So we're going to have to mess up these gold mines. And then start upgrading the ones at the back. I thought I might still be able to squeeze down here, but I don't know if I want to risk opening up any more trees to do so. I might be able to. Cast Illusion, Blessing of Frost, Wings of Light, and Holy... So, build an Efficient Tower. A tower that has a large sight radius can also detect invisibility. Build a hideout, a large invisible tree that you can hide inside of. And you can build a spike trap, an invisible trap that stuns and damages things when activated. So it looks like that. Hide explosive, an invisible landmine that blows away and damages things when activated. Build a frost tower, attacks things and causes a debuff which reduces movement and attack speed. It's pretty good. Okay, speaking of which, actually upgrade some of these mines. In the background. Get a few upgrading. So how much health do they have? 300 health. Depends how much damage the things do. The, dam the things might just do instant damage, but back to this. Build a siphon tower, attacks things and gives you a large amount of gold with each attack. So again, if you can get that to do lots of attacks, then you're going to do proper damage, I would say. Uh, Altar of Light, Cast Illusion, Blessing of Frost, Wings of Light and Holy Blood. I don't know what any of those do, so it's hard to know. Do you always leave, Rosalie, don't you? You do. You are a bit of a naughty boy. Your name does pop up. Build Shadow Tower, attack things and reduces their fission, also blocks line of sight. So again, another thing that attacks them. Another tower, essentially. Uh, blockade, an invisible blockade and a gold mine. So it's kind of straightforward what you need to build. Got the old invisible blocker here. Weak blocker, 300 gold to upgrade one of those does seem a little bit... On the pricey side, and I didn't mean to upgrade that. <laughs> Whoops. I wanted to destroy it. There is no destroy button. You have to an manually attack. So you can't sort of look back at your base and say, okay, destroy this. You need to bring your peasant over and do it your damn self. Okay. Our allies' town is Job's done. If you want. So we're going to slow him down and try to siphon some gold, maybe. Get one of each, I suppose. Hope that doesn't make a path. Okay. Don't know what else I can get in terms of 
Can't build a spike trap on top of buildings already, unfortunately. Oh, can upgrade a gold mine to the next stage. So the first gold mines, they give you, what, five gold? The next ones, they upgrade to give you 15 gold. So they cost 400 gold as opposed to 75 gold as to what they should cost. So the more you can spam out gold mine, the better you can mess out, mo well, gold essentially. So you're going to get less bang for your buck each time you upgrade them. But, obviously, if you keep them all compiled and not sort of like too spread out, you reduce the chance of being seen. Got to check out what this Altar of Light does, to be honest. Create a p perfect copy of your target. So I can actually go scouting. Yes, Create a shield around the target. It slows down attackers. Adds 200 armor. So yeah, that's a good way to survive. Wings of Light increases movement speed. And replenish the life. I don't know if you can save people once they've been killed. Or whether that's just it for them. And it's game over. You've got to only survive for a short amount of time. So it's not one of these... Survive 20 hours type games, which is great, because I'm not a big fan of those. Yes, me lord. They go on too darn long. Our forces are under attack. Oh, I got killed by something. Can you make an illusion of the thing and make it use it to attack them? You can make an illusion of it, but if it attacks, it does nothing. Most illusions, they do no damage. I don't know if you can build on top of the explosive. It doesn't look like you can, so... It'd be neat to sort of like spam a whole bunch of explosive traps and stuff like that on the same spot. Our allies' town is under siege. right -o. What? Off I go then. Yes, me lord. Job Off done. I go then. <laughs> Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. More gold is required. More gold is required. Upgrade complete. I feel like I've done everything I need to do, aside from extend my base further. Uh oh. That's pretty terrifying. Got some pretty crazy powerful. Uh... Oh, he's not getting hurt at all by that, is he? <laughs> oh dear. I need to siphon gold. We need more gold siphoning towers. So we can. Because I can siphon the gold from him as he attacks. Although, knowing that, he'll probably want to try to find a way through. Let's see where he buggered off to. Trying to navigate the trees to find a path to either another ally or where they might be coming from. So I can sort of know how protected this whole area is. Ah, I found another way through. It looks like you don't remember your pathway, so as you scout, you don't remember anything. 
So you have to kind of visual. Oh, the illusion ran out. Uh, they've got reveal. And I know that it goes up to about here, the pathway. So I don't know how safe it is to chop any more trees. I'm probably making enough gold to just keep it upgrading like the few gold mines that I do have. You can't upgrade your towers anymore, unfortunately. Try to rebuild my blockades. What do you mean you can't build there? That's odd. There's something there. Why would I not be able to build there? Unless he's got something there. Can also detect invisibility. Yes, my lord. Ah. <gasps> Rain of fire. Okay, I'm standing here. He's doing a little dance for me. Oh, he's sending a little bastard after me. He's trying to break through the bastard. Slow him down! Send me at him! I'm gonna try and escape. I need to repair. Oh my god, that rain of fire lasts forever! That's not fair. How do you. That's too much. How do you deal with that? He's broke as hell. How do I survive? I got all the gold. I'm trying to survive, but how do you survive first? Is that? Ah, uh, I tried to. There was a replenish life one. I tried to click it on myself, but. The thing is overpowered. From what I can tell. Although that might work. Looks like exploiting as much space as possible is probably the best thing to do then. Rather than try to play it calm and collect and go for a small base. There's no coming back on this one. Ah, imagine if you could get to the middle and use the tones of power and stuff like that. So they can increase their strength. I guess they get gold or something like that from doing damage to buildings as well. He's definitely getting a fair bit of cash from those. But the problem is, is you can't upgrade um, your towers any further. So how do you really stop it? I get, well, I guess you've only got to survive for like 12 minutes. So That's all you need to do. So even though you can't, you can't kill him, you're not supposed to ever be able to kill him. Just need to slow him down. So he's got to survive for four minutes now. The walls are pretty crazy. Like, I upgraded my walls quite strongly. There's your rain of fire. So reducing his range of fission is probably a very good idea, because he he's misses steps with some of his rain of fire. I think that's the... Although I don't see the tower from Sexy Time that reduces vision. That's the Black Shadow Tower, I think. <laughs> He's really upset. It's pretty disturbing. That is not the sort of thing you want to see in the middle of the forest. Town 
This one's level 30. I think he's pumping up on strength. He's only got three minutes to break through that wall. They should probably funnel all of their gold into one of them. Because you're never going to die. So it's not like you need to worry about having enough tomes of strength each so you survive. So you can continuously whack on the wall. You just need one that's overpowered as hell to destroy the, uh, the walls. I think there's a third one. He's trying to find Rondak, so I guess he's still alive. But I don't know where he is. Although, you, I, how can I can see Sexy Time, but I can't see Rondak, so maybe he isn't. So he's probably just destroying stuff that doesn't exist or belong. No, no, no. Rondak's isn't tainted. It's still got to be alive. Because when I died, I lost everything. All my buildings disappeared. Yeah. No, Strength Tomes are definitely for attack. I know that. I know you, that's what you're doing it for. I know you're not doing it so you can survive, because I said you don't need to. It's not necessary. Strength is your form of DPS in this sense, because you're a strength hero. So you still have to go it. But only one person really needs that DPS to break through. The other just kind of needs to be on a nuisance. Oh my goodness. The wall's coming down. How long can he keep up that attack for though? They sound like an ability he used. That might increase his attack damage, but only for a period of time. I think those siphoning towers might be going down. I don't think he can do it, to be honest. I'm pretty sure if Sex Town wanted, he could build more walls. So greedy. I haven't played any Age of Empires 2 yet today. I probably will play it again today. I might do one versus one versus Gaben. A couple of those to see if he's got what it takes, although he does actually have what it takes because he beats me in the one versus ones. He's coming through! 57 seconds to kill Sexy Time. And I think Sexy Time is just tying with him. Well, at least it's got a short survival time on it. Oh, that's an Ultra Seeker level 4. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see that one come on from the left. Clever girl. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is a Jurassic Park moment right there. He got flanked. He got completely flanked. Well, nine seconds left to kill whoever's left. And I don't know whoever is left, to be honest with you. Maybe Rondex is still alive, but I don't know where his character is. Oh. It didn't show me all of this, it just showed me a few sort of blockades that he had. And you got Haiti over here. Haiti, Tainted, and Rondax. And Rondax was just going for like an extended base that didn't make much sense apart from one main hub. Well, that was interesting. I'll do a straw poll for that. You guys can decide whether you want to see more of that or not. A nice little sort of feature for you guys to enjoy. I like more maps like this where it is literally just a 20 minute play, have fun, you're dumb. Ah, so the things were death knights after all. Typical undead imbalance. 